There's no denying that the United States fixed income market is global in nature. Um, I do find it interesting that we still debate whether or not the Fed, uh, in fact, installed a time bomb. You know, for years we've been talking about inflation is going to explode, the dollar is going to plummet. It hasn't happened. And by continuing to extend our time frame, waiting for that to happen, instead of inflecting in the other direction, which in fact the Fed has done, the balance sheet is beginning to normalize. Uh, Chairman Powell, uh, more likely than not, will be confirmed by the Senate, and he's going to continue on a gradual normalization path. I think in the end, the debate about whether we have a bond bubble, it's certainly linked to central bank policy, but it's also linked to our central banks pursuing monetary policies that are at odds with global growth. If they were, we would have exploding global growth and exploding inflation, and that has not happened. The Bitcoin mania, I think, has a lot to do with the fact that there are skeptics to what I just said. People who are looking for an asset they don't believe is linked to central banks who I think have been unduly vilified. And so you look for things not controlled or affected by a global central authority. That's what Chamath These are said all linked. In a nutshell, yeah. Uh, what about Hans? You, uh, you look smart. <laughs> <laughs> Something about that tie. That's uh, it. Yeah. I, you know, look, I, I think bubbles are, if history has shown us anything, Bubbles have, have really formed around an idea in new technology, right? Whether it was um, railroads, canals, biotechnology, the internet, um, you know, name it. Um, you won't know until after the fact, but the fact of the matter is, is that um, uh, we have, what is different this time? What, what is unique? We've had a generation in this business, in investing, that has known only one um, environment, which is a price of money, at or near zero, or interest rates falling. So you have people a decade into their careers, right? right where with some responsibility now, that really have no idea of what, when you have a true price of money that is determined by the marketplace, how that cascades through everything else. I mean, the Fed's actions have had consequences, right? I mean, look at, look at um, um, coin prices, look at art prices, look at stock prices, bond prices, real estate prices. It's leaked into the system, yeah. um, and, and it, money has been pressurized. Well, when you depressurize money, what's going to happen? <clears throat> I like the idea of the time bomb, but you don't think there is one, or do you, you think people think there's one, but you don't really think there is one. I hope there isn't, but it makes me nervous when, when people give the Fed the opportunity to take a victory lap, like, wow, they were great. They really saved us, and everything's just great. And that just makes me think, really? They, they, usually you would, you, would, uh, you know, uh, uh, Murphy's Law would take over, and if something can get screwed up, it does get screwed up. So you think the exit's going to be as clean as uh, they saved everyone, here we are at 3% growth, and it's clear sailing here and in Europe. Well, we're optimistic on the economy. Um, both monetary and fiscal policies seem to be well calibrated for, for this point of the cycle, although one could argue uh, maybe a revenue neutral tax cut at full employment would make more sense as opposed to one that may expand the deficit, and we can get into a whole dynamic scoring argument there. Um, and, and to your longer-term point, um, I do think the Fed has helped to, to build a base for this prolonged economic recovery. Yes, it's been slow, but in fact, so was the last recovery. Uh, in an economy where demographics have shifted markedly from the 70s and 80s, the slow recovery, the jobless recovery phrase that we've used over and over each time we we're coming out of a recession, there's a reason for that. And it's not just linked to the Fed making some sort of mistake. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.